Oh, look at the bad lighting that Lydia's got today. All will be resolved. <laughs> also, look at the lack of makeup on me. Oh my god. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Hi, hello, I'm Lydia. I make mental health videos pretty much every day at the minute. Um, today I gave you guys a poll over on Twitter. If you don't follow me on Twitter, it's just Diary of Lydia. It's also linked in the description down below. Be sure to go follow me over there because that is my largest social media platform and I'm on there all the time. Today's video is all about bipolar type 1. This is the video that was requested that was voted on, one you guys wanted me to talk about, and I'm also diagnosed with it. So I've been gathering questions over the last few days for what to say and what people want to know because it's all well and good me making a video but if it doesn't answer anyone's actual questions about it then what's the point? Which symptom is most intense for you? Depression or mania? Depression, easily. It, it, I don't know, I can handle myself when I'm manic. When I'm depressed I just sleep. Let me first talk a bit about what bipolar type 1 actually is because I know not everyone knows. So I'm going to read from my phone here. Bipolar 1 disorder, pronounced bipolar 1 and also known as manic depressive disorder or manic depression, is a form of mental illness. A person affected by bipolar 1 has had at least one manic episode in his or her life. A manic episode is a period of abnormally elevated or irritable mood and high energy accompanied by abnormal behaviour that disrupts life. Most people with bipolar 1 also suffer from episodes of depression. Often there is a pattern and cycling between mania and depression. This is where the term manic depression comes from. Between episodes of mania and depression, many people with bipolar 1 can live normal lives. Another thing I want to add in is bipolar 1 is ma more mania, depression and episodes of psychosis. Um, bipolar 2, I believe, is hypermania and depressive episodes. Don't hold me on that, I'm not. On and some symptoms of bipolar Type 1 are... Uh, well, when a person is experiencing mania, these are some of the symptoms that the person might experience. Flying from one idea to the next without any correlation or logic behind it. Rapid and loud speech. That's a big one. I think most people know that one, that when someone's manic, they're very speeded up. Almost as if they was on some kind of substance that speeds you up. Like. So it's also then increased energy. You have... When you're manic, you feel like you can do absolutely absolutely anything. You feel like you can stay on edge and go up and up and up until the crash happens and then you are 10 feet under. It is such a hard thing to live with. You can have you, a, another symptom of it is extremely elevated self-image. I wish this was a symptom I have. I really don't. My self-image is really shit. Along with that the comp becomes a decreased need for sleep because you are basically the energizer bunny and nothing's gonna stop you until you reach breaking point. So what are treatments for bipolar? According to the WebMD website, the treatment for a manic episode in bipolar 1 requires treatment with drugs such as mood stabilizers, antipsychotics and sometimes diazepines such as clonazepam or lorazepam. I take clonazepam, we all know this, I've sat and talked about it for ages. I ain't talking about it for much longer. And then mood stabilizers. So I'm not actually on a mood stabilizer yet. That is something I'm going to discuss with my consultant on the 15th because the last time I spoke to a consultant it wasn't my consultant it was a cover consultant but it was discussed and we're gonna look into lamotrigine which is technically an anticonvulsant but it's used to treat bipolar and so I'm personally diagnosed with bipolar type 1 and I have been since I was 13 years old it came about after I had my first psychotic episode which I'm gonna make an entire video on that story because I still have the journal entries that I wrote then and, you know, I couldn't fit it all into this video. There are some significant differences between bipolar 1 and bipolar 2. I'm not going to sit and read them all out, I'll put a little thing on screen now. Bipolar often occurs with other mental health conditions. If you follow my channel for any length of time, you will know my, that my diagnosis is not only... Are you retweeting things? Yeah, sorry. I didn't realise your phone was on loud, I'm sorry. It occurs with other mental health conditions a lot of the time. Anyone who's followed my channel for any length of time will know that I'm diagnosed with more than bipolar. I have countless other diagnoses that 
impact daily thing. But the reason I'm making this video is to start a conversation and talk and enjoy things. So tomorrow I'm actually going to be launching a mental health self-care box that is going to be a monthly thing. I did start this last year then a lot of things happened. This year I am all set to go. I already have stuff on Etsy which I will link in the description down below and here's a little screenshot on screen. Any support with that really is appreciated even if it's just a share. I love doing YouTube. I really really do and nothing is going to stop me from posting on here. If you do have any questions or want me to talk about any specific detail about my fellow or any other subject please feel free to ask in the comments down below and yeah I'll see you guys tomorrow with a new video. Bye and recorded for 10 minutes this is going to be our four minute long video.